everyone so I've searched around a lot on YouTube and I've seen a lot of uh, youtubers like to post sort of questions videos where they ask on social media about if you guys have any questions about them or their lives or their experiences or anything like that and I love to answer questions because I don't always remember cool things to think about but when you ask me stuff then I'm like oh yeah I have this cool thing I can t tell you about so I really liked it so uh, two days ago I posted on Twitter hey send me any questions you have for me I'm gonna make a questions video um, and I really didn't expect you guys to have so many cool questions so I really enjoyed them and I thought that a lot of them were funny and I was actually surprised like you guys were really like, super cool about like not asking only about you know pornos <laughs> so I think that's really cool and it gives me an opportunity to sort of open up about me and like other things that have nothing to do with one thing I did in my life for a year and that's it because <laughs> there's a lot more to me so I really appreciate that so Whatever, I'll stop rambling and just answer some questions. <laughs> Irish Red asks, uh, all-time favorite movie. Um, I wish I had like a good favorite movie, like Pulp Fiction or something like a cool favorite movie, um, but I don't. My favorite movie is a movie I watched when I was uh, like 13 years old. It's called Dangerous Beauty and it's based in Renaissance Venice uh, and it's about a courtesan uh, in Renaissance Venice who was also like a published poet and heavily involved in politics and just like super intellectual and it's just a really beautifully done movie and I really enjoyed like the strength of the female heroine as well as her just like natural like eroticism I guess I don't know it's super lame I know I wish I, I should just say fucking spider-man or something <laughs> but I mean aside from like that movie pretty much all my favorite movies have to do with like superheroes that's probably why I date a basically a superhero because <laughs> I just like it <laughs> Luis Medina asks uh, one question only and if I may what's a song that describes you as a being on earth <laughs> okay I have a confession to make like I, first of all, I suck at music, and my music tastes are atrocious. Like, I basically just like the same music I have liked since I was in 8th grade. Like, I every time Nickelback or Disturbed or Marilyn Manson <laughs> or something like that comes on, I'm just like, oh, it's my jam, like, let's go, yes. Um, and all this, like, new EDM, electronic, fucking Kanye shit is just so over my head. Like, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> so, a song that describes me as a being on this or like that's pretty that's like a really loaded question so i'm just gonna go with like uh rock music from 2005 like <laughs> that is what describes me as a being on earth <laughs> just duh <laughs> that's all i got for you bro i'm sorry i'm sorry <laughs> i wish i could be like oh beethoven's like 43rd symphony describes me as a being because it really places me in this moment of joy and classicism and no it's Nickel back, bro. Like, I don't know. <laughs> I'm fucking from Florida. <laughs> Matt the Conservative. Matt the, Matt the Conservative, I guess. Uh, if you could travel back in time, what band's concert would you go to first? Yeah, I'm pretty sure rock concerts stopped being cool in like the late 90s, but I think Nirvana would have been dope. I really love Nirvana music. And there was like, that was like the grunt. Like, I was too young when Nirvana was a thing, you know. Um, I remember I went to an Alanis Morissette concert when, with my mom when I was like eight and that was my only experience with grunge. <laughs> but I think Nirvana would have been really cool because I really, uh, I watched like a documentary or something on Kurt Cobain and I saw like the level of fanaticism he inspired in people and I just think those those concerts would have been really cool. Plus I just fucking like love pole dancing to heart shite box so <laughs> that's, that's my answer, Nirvana. I considered saying Woodstock but I think that would have been obvious. So, <laughs> any time in life, like five to ten years down the road, would you ever consider doing porn again or are you done with it forever? No, I am done with porn. Zero interest, don't want to do it. Number one, I I don't want to like sleep with like people that I don't really know. Like that was always, I've, I've always kind of been like weary of like new guys. Like I, I just get nervous and I always saw myself like when I was on a set with a guy I hadn't worked with before I didn't know or I'd never really talked to him ever I just was like really nervous and especially if they were just kind of chilling in a corner like waiting for stuff I was just like this is weird like I don't want to sleep with this person that's like I don't have like a connection to um I didn't really expect that in porn I thought it would be more like oh I'm a really sexual person and I'm just gonna like have sexual fun with whoever and I didn't really expect to just be kind of weirded out a lot and that and for that to influence like how much fun I was having so I ended up not having fun a lot because I just was like 
it just felt awkward. <laughs> so that's a big reason um, that I'm just kind of over it. Um, n number two, I'm like, I'm like hugely in love. <laughs> And now that I know what it feels like to just sort of like be in love, like really in love and just be like, oh, I just want to be with this person. I don't really foresee me ever wanting to like not be like that. I've experimented enough. I'm good. I'm done. I'm not really interested in, in like, you know, sexual stuff unless I'm just like really in love anymore because like nothing can top that now and I'm fucked. <laughs> like what am I going to do? <laughs> and then, yeah, like I said, I'm going to make another video about like fully why I left. There's a lot more reasons than just those two reasons, but those are reasons I feel like I just wouldn't go back. Like even if the industry became a totally different industry that actually was a good working environment again, I still wouldn't be attractive just for those personal reasons alone. So do you regret your decision to up and leave Wall Street at all? I know it's an aspiration for many to rise up and make money. No, I do not regret it. I, I know it might seem like I should regret it because now I, I left Wall Street for porn and then I don't want to do porn anymore. Um, so like what the fuck, don't you wish you went back to Wall Street? No. I don't want to have a traditional job. I don't want to live a conventional lifestyle. I don't want to wake up at a certain time every day and live for the weekend. I just don't want to be a drone. I don't want to be corporate. I'm super fucking millennial and entitled, I guess you want to call it. Like, but I just don't. Well, I'm not about that life, don't plan. I'm just not about that life. So yeah, making a lot of money would be cool, but not at the expense of just like drowning my life away, <laughs> you know? And while I did enjoy a lot of the analytical elements of working on Wall Street, I did enjoy some of like the intellectual challenges that presented themselves. I just don't like the structure. I don't like the hierarchy. I don't like the politics. I just, I'm, I'm not about that life. <laughs> I'm happy that I had the experience and I, I, I tried really hard. I spent five years in school going to school for finance thinking that Wall Street was what I wanted to do and that I was going to be this cool, I don't know, hedge fund manager or something like that and <laughs> run my own fund. I, I got to the point where I actually got hired by a blue chip, very respectable investment bank, obviously, because that's why I blew up in the media so much when I loved it for porn. And I accomplished that. So I'm, I'm proud of myself for having accomplished that and worked there and had that experience. And now I know for sure that I never want to do anything like that again. That's all the questions for today. I still have some questions left over, uh, but I think the video is getting a little kind of long and my battery once again is dying. So <laughs> I'm not going to keep pushing it anymore. So I think I should probably do a video like this, maybe like every week, just depending on how, like how many questions you guys send. So feel free to send me a question anytime and I'll screenshot it and I'll save it and I'll address it in my next video. And if you really like this video, want me to make more like this, just again, let me know in the comments below. I love all the support you guys have shown me and all your comments on all my videos and I really really enjoy it so keep them coming I really enjoy engaging with you guys like this like this it's so much better than just like Twitter or something like that and I get to show more of my personality which is always fun so um, keep the love coming I love you guys so much bye